What is going on everybody, this is John here of Fishcomptain YouTube and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to use my program, the Dynamic Game Trainer. Um, so we're going to use Bioshock Infinite for this. Um, you can use this same method for any other game. Um, so basically, using this method you can find out any value in any game. Pretty much. <laughs> So yeah, of course there are certain games that are harder to do, and this game isn't even easy to do, to be honest, because, well, there are a lot of issues with this game. Uh, well, let's say the issue is that there, this game is huge, okay? This has a lot of gigabytes and a lot of different code behind it, and that makes it incredibly hard to, you know, find, a f find the base pointer. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So guys, first off, you will need my program, the Dynamic Game Trainer, and you will need Cheat Engine 6.4. Or you can use any other Cheat Engine, but I'm doing this, or any other version of Cheat Engine, but I'm using, I think it's the latest version. Not too sure about it, but yeah, it's pretty recent. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the money address, and then, or the base address for the money, or the player base, and then we're going to try to find the different values or the different base addresses for the salt. Yeah, okay, let's just do the salt, okay? And then I would explain to you in theory how you would go about, I don't know, like finding ammo or something like that. So, what you basically need to know at first is we are just using this to, uh, this program to create our address sheet, which means that we will just enter in all the different addresses we're gonna find out in Cheat Engine. Now, Cheat Engine allows you to find out certain addresses for certain games, or pretty much all games, or any process you attach to it, which is fairly nice. Um, but what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to go to Create, and then Address Sheet, and then we have our Address Sheet created here. So this is actually what we're going to use once we have all of the addresses, and then we create such an address sheet that we can export right here. And then um, we can use this um, and then load it into our program, and then we can modify all these different values. And I want to tell you guys, this is actually a developer preview, sort of, because uh, this is a version I'm working on that I'm not finished with right now. This is actually an update for Dynamic Game Trainer. So it has some of the features you might not have in your version, but depending on when you're watching this, you might already have these features. And then it's good, because I'm already going to show you how to use some of the new features. But there are, of course, more updates to come in the future. So yeah, you guys can stay tuned for that. Alright, now I don't know how long this video is going to be, it's actually pretty straightforward, and if you already know how to find that address, if you just want to know how to use this program, then skip the video, skip through the video, I don't know if I'm going to put up an annotation because sometimes that doesn't really work the way I wanted to, but maybe I'm going to leave a comment or something, and then you guys can skip to that if you already know how to find out these addresses. So, actually I have Bioshock Infinite running right now, and what you want to do is you want to go to this yeah, computer search thing up here and you want to attach a process so this would be Bioshock Infinite so you, this is actually the process list all the processes you currently have running and I want to attach Bioshock Infinite just click open and then I'm, this is not going to be popping up for you because I already created a table for this um, it's called a cheat table where you basically have all the different addresses now, what we're going to do is, you basically, each program works like this. Um, if you compile it, then it basically runs on the computer. And every single line of code has an address. So, and it's pretty much like your house. You, you have an address for wherever you're living. And basically, in that address, there's like a house where you live in. And pretty much, this is where the code lives in and certain values live in. So, if there's a value for money... Let me go here for the money. Then this address, um, there's an address in this program that has this money. But the problem is that those addresses are dynamic. Okay, so even if we find out the address, this address, the next time we boot up the game, it's going to change. And if I give this, or if you give this to a friend who also owns the game and tries to do this, the address go is going to be completely different. Okay, so it's sort of a moving house type of thing. So what we want to do is we want to find the base address, okay? This is sort of an address that um, that is never going to change. And this is like the player base, which means that if you know a thing or two about game development and programming, then you know that there is a player class, most likely, and in this player class there are all these different values stored, like the amount of lockpicks the player has and the amount of money the player has as well. So 
that is what we want to find out, the space address. And we do this using a pointer scan. A pointer scan is something really nice about Cheat Engine, but it's very, very it takes a very long time as well. But once we have found this base player address, we can go from there and finding values will be a lot easier. So this is what we're gonna do. First off, we want to find out the address for our money. Then we need the current money we have. So this is a value. We're searching for an exact value right now. So we go into Cheat Engine and you can see it says value right here. Don't don't use hacks. And go to scan type exact value. Now of course there can be values you, you quite no nah, okay you just don't know what they are because in Bioshock Infinite this is really nice to see because we have these these bars I don't know how laggy this is gonna be <laughs> but we have these bars that represent the health and all this and we don't know their value we don't know if we have 100 health or 150 health we have no idea so what you would do in that scenario you would go to unknown initial value and then C and there is like uh, this and then you can have um, an option whether it increased or decreased and all this and that's fairly nice so you can basically find out okay is when I'm losing health you scan for um, a decreased value and then I don't know you eat something and then you will have more health so then you will look for an increased value that's how you would go about go about doing that but once we find the play address finding out the health is not too far from it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a first scan for our money so this is uh, 66679 666 okay that's weird 79 now we go to first scan now it's going to scan all the addresses and we have only found 10 addresses now what we do is we need to change the money so we can do a next scan we can normally those those are going to be a lot more addresses let's say if you had something like i don't know two thousand dollars there would be like i don't know hundreds of addresses or thousands even um and then you do the next scan for the new value that we have for our money. So we go hop in game now, try to find some money. Okay, this has got to be really laggy because my recording software, this is actually screen capture software and that's not used for gaming because of the bitrate and stuff. So it's not, it's probably going to look even worse. Okay, this is health, not really helpful. Nope. Ah, uh, that's going to be nice. We're not going to find any money, I guess. Oh my god. Right, <laughs> this is great. Oh yeah, here we go. So I found some money. And it's uh, 8. Alright, now we can pretty much do this. Now we have 66687. So as you can already see, these red numbers means that some of these addresses, their value has changed. So now we're going to look for 66687. And if we do next scan, you can already see this, but normally... And now we have three addresses left. Since I don't want to do this again, we're just going to try to change these values and see if they have changed in the game. So I don't know, we're going to change this to lead right now. Wow, 136. Seriously? Okay, <laughs> that was bad. So let's resume the game and press pause again so the value has not changed. So we know that this is not the value. And you should basically reset the value to the previous one, but I'm not going to do this because it's taking too much time. So let's try the next value and see if this value has changed. Yes, it has. As you can see, the money value has now changed. So we have the address, but this is um, the dynamic address. Okay, so this is going to change each time we're going to boot up the game again. So now we want to right click this and you're going to go to pointer scan for this address and then just leave everything as it is and depending on how good your computer is or your CPU is you can run a certain number of threads. Now I'm going to run six threads, that's usually fairly fast and I'm going to yeah, I'm going to start the video again once I'm when it's done well, once it's done with scanning so just click OK. Oh yeah. Right, because we have to we have these cheat tables I tried a different game which is better and you can basically just go ahead and create a new folder we're going to call this I don't know Bioshock I'm just going to call this Bioshock go in here and then just do one because this is the first sca pointer scan just do save and now it's going to get all the pointers so I'm going to pause this video now because this will speed up the process so yeah see you in a second